Okay, could you introduce yourselves to the camera, please? Um, I'm Mary, I'm 16, uh, and I've got two and a half years of school left, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm Jess, 16 also, one year of school left, and I'm from the United States. I'm Lynn, I'm 15, and I'm from Burma, and I still have two years left. I'm Adam, I'm 17, from Turkey, I only have a year left. I'm Paige, I'm 17, from England, and I only have a year left. Okay, so we're just coming to the end of the first week studying here in Oxford. Um, what have you all been studying? I've been studying history and philosophy. I've been studying history with Paige and critical thinking. I've been doing physics and philosophy with Paige. <laughs> I do advanced medical biology and pandemics on my own. <laughs> um, and I've been studying poetry and Chinese Mandarin also by myself. So it's a nice mix, but you're all united by love of creative writing, which is your objective. Okay, so uh, having been here for a week, what are the main differences you would say between your schools at home and the things you've been doing here in your classes? The classes are a lot smaller. At home, there are like 20 people per room. This ranges from like two to six or so. So it's definitely a more direct teaching approach. Yeah. It's better for the student because they'll get more individualized education, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> My choice. Yeah, it's a lot better. It's a lot more in depth, um, and it's a lot more focused on like exploring different aspects of the subject of the subject that you're studying, and sort of expanding your knowledge outside of the curriculum that you normally get taught, which is really interesting. It's the curriculum is fast because we have two weeks, like nine, nine, nine hours of teaching. So, and I personally like it faster because I think it, my school goes too slow. <laughs> I would say it's much more fun than our school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is it that makes it fun in the classes? You get to, um, you get to, you know, in a normal class you have to sort of go as fast as like the slowest person so that you include everyone and that you everyone gets to learn the content and there's a set curriculum and you don't move past that. Whereas here you kind of you get to go a lot faster like Lynn said and you get to extend yourself and you get to explore parts of the subject that you're interested in, that you're passionate in or, or that you wouldn't normally look at, which is way more interesting than normal school. Would you all agree that you're being challenged academically? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What kind of things have you been doing in your classes that you maybe didn't think you'd be doing here? Or that you certainly wouldn't do at your schools at home? I mean, I've never done philosophy before, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't done philosophy in any sort of formal way either. So, that's new. <laughs> um, I've studied both of my subjects at school, but in, like, as part of the curriculum and they've never been nearly as in-depth um, as they are here. And I've never studied, for example, in poetry, I'm studying something called like critical lenses, and I get to study more context, whereas at my school it's more, you know, like metaphors and similes and really basic things, so it's definitely way more in-depth than what I've ever studied before. I'm actually the same as Mary. Um, I've studied most of the subjects that I'm doing. I've done them in school already, but they're much more centralized here. I get to learn a lot more about it than I would have in school because we spend such little time on it, but here we, we focus on it much more than I would have thought. For me, it seems to be the opposite because in physics, we're doing a whole lot in a very short amount of time. So I feel like it's not going as in-depth, but that's not a problem because when I say it's not going as in-depth, that means we're not repeatedly doing the same types of problems over and over again. <laughs> And what about your experiences of the teachers that you've come into contact with? You've, you've studied a whole range of subjects, so you've come into contact with a lot of different people. What's that been like? Our teachers are really good, very well experienced, and they know what we are expecting from our lessons, and they try to fulfill our expectations, which they are doing, by the way. <laughs> Teachers are also, they're quite young, like, it's, it's not something that I expected. I think uh, most of them have only recently finished school and I've been really impressed with how they've done with teaching us because, you know, I wouldn't have expected that from someone that just got out of uh, university, you know. I, you know, uh, applause for them, yeah. they're, they're doing a good job, yeah. 
Yeah. Have you found that as well as their knowledge, they've shared their experiences of studying with you and their kind of experiences of life as a student? Yeah, and we've also had um, like more insights specifically into like what's it like to study at uni. So um, Andy, the guy who's running this course mostly, apart from you, <laughs> um, he had like a sort of seminar we could all go and he explained what's it like to study at Oxford or Cambridge or other British universities and all of our teachers, at least all of my teachers, have explained you know, how, how they got to where they are now and what, what it was like at the university they studied at, which is really helpful and really interesting. My physics teacher is older than the other teachers and I so we don't this he was in university a long time ago but what I got a lot from his life story was about being a physicist because I'm not so sure if I want to do that because there's not so much money behind that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're all in this room because you like creative writing and that's one of the electives we offer and what kind of things have you been doing in that and what made you choose it in the first place? Well, we've been doing poetry, short stories, and then today articles, uh, reviews on plays and films today. I personally chose it because I take that as an A-level at my college, and I've always loved writing, so I get to do a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I also did a creative writing course at my school, and um, I was really into it. I, di I did about two years ago. I was really into it then. And I thought maybe I would fire that back up because recently I think I've been a little blocked. Like, I've had writer's block for a while. But, you know, getting back into this and, you know, having this group of people around me, it's been, it's helped me a lot in, um, you know, getting, getting back what I missed out on for a while. Yeah. I write a lot of stories by myself on home when there's nothing else to do because we don't have internet. But then, and at school I'm going to take creative writing soon, so that's why I thought I would take this up and see what it's like. I actually never had the opportunity to have creative writing, and I love writing, so I wanted to improve myself in this way. And I think it's working, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we've only ever done creative writing as like a sort of like a break activity in our English classes at school, but I've always enjoyed it, and I've gone to a couple of like like little workshops every now and again with school, and I'm in a creative writing club in my school, which is probably the nerdiest thing I've ever done. Um, <laughs> we <laughs> like nerds, at Oxford. Yeah. Don't a worry. Whole group of them here. Don't <laughs> worry. Yeah, it's 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 really good fun. I really like. I don't. I like creative writing, but I also like working with other people's creative writing and looking at other people's writing and seeing what's interesting about it or seeing how I would do it differently, which is kind of rude, but it's what I enjoy doing. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like you're all having a good time. Could you describe the academic experience here in three words? Ugh. Between the five of you, if you come up with three words. Right. This is where the awkward silence begins. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my word. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Challenging? Mm -hmm. Yes. Challenging, interesting. And new, also. Mm -hmm. It's a new experience. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much.